chapter 23, verses 35 through 39 says, The crowd watched, and the leaders scoffed. He saved others, they said. Let him save himself, if he is really God's Messiah, the Chosen One. The soldiers mocked him, too, by offering him a drink of sour wine. They called out to him, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. A sign was fastened above him with these words, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals hanging beside him scoffed, So, you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself and us too while you're at it. Now, I am amazed at the restraint that Jesus showed while in agony on the cross. You know, the crowds, they stood around watching the spectacle of his death like it was some kind of show, some kind of sporting event. The leaders, they scoffed at him in his perceived state of weakness. The soldiers, they mocked him told him to come down off the cross and gambled for his clothes. According to Matthew, both criminals mocked him, scoffed at him, though one did come around to follow him at the end. You know, Jesus, he kept his power under control and did not lash out at this unjust, unwarranted attack on him by unbelievers. You know, they, they just didn't know. They didn't understand. He could, have, he could have torched them, set them all aflame, raining down fire and brimstone on them. He could have done that with just a word, like he did on Sodom and Gomorrah because of their wickedness. He could have caused the ground to open up and, and swallow them all alive, like he did with Dathan and Abiram when they rebelled against Moses. He could have just caused them all to drop dead, stop their hearts from beating like he did with Ananias and Sapphira later on in Acts chapter 5. I mean, he could have done any of that. It's a good thing he showed some restraint. Otherwise, he would have lost patience with all of us. A long time ago. In verse 34, Jesus says, Father, forgive them. They don't understand what they're doing. In reality, that could be said about all of us when we sin. That could be said about all of us when we doubt and question. It's a good thing that he's patient. It's a good thing that he's understanding. It's a good thing he has patience and shows loving kindness to us all. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for extending that patience to us. Thank you, Lord, for the kindness that you show all of us. And I pray that we would Never take for granted the relationship that you have offered to us in Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, I pray that you'd have a good day. God bless you.